Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany Collinsworth. Today is Thursday, September 27, 2012, and this is a look at your weekend ahead in the Finger Lakes, the final weekend of September. Today's episode is brought to you by the Great Pumpkin Geocache. Geocaching is fun, but the Great Pumpkin Geocache is awesome. Grab a friend and bring the family to your, or you can have them as your teammates, as a race through the Seneca Meadows Wetlands Preserve to find pumpkin treasures. The prizes will be awarded to the first adult team and the first family team to make it to the finish. You can mark your calendars for Saturday, October 6th from 2 until 3.30 at the Seneca Meadows Wetlands Preserve. For complete game details and rules, check out the Seneca Meadows Education Center Facebook page or visit SenecaMeadows.com. And now for a look at how the weather is shaping up for the upcoming weekend. If you are a fan of pleasantly cool autumn days and comfortably chilly evenings to sleep, then you are in for a treat over the next couple of days here in the Finger Lakes. Friday will be partly cloudy with just a 20% chance of rain, high of 66, overnight, overnight lows will drop into the mid 40s. Saturday will be mostly cloudy with a high around 64 and again into the 40s for the overnight. Sunday will be partly cloudy with fog in the morning, then overcast later with a 40% chance of rain with a high in the mid 60s. For your forecast updates, check back all weekend long to FingerLakes1.com Local Weather Center for the live latest outlook on the live radar images. And now for a look at a few of the great local photos posted at FingerLakes1.com over the past week. You'll see these selections have a definite autumn feel to them. Of course, my favorite season. Like this one from Shelley Lannon. Dark skies were moving in over the old barn in Canadagua on Saturday morning. Check out this shot from Rachel Burkholder. A scenic dirt road in southeastern Wayne County uh, was a sight to see. Uh, you can check out the overnight rain on Saturday morning soon after the sunrise. Here's one from Eileen Sandipadri. <laughs> Clouds roll over the horizon on the north end of the Cuga Lake as seen from Lower Lake Road in Seneca Falls Sunday. Here's something different from Jack McAllister. Between the rain showers on Saturday looking east as seen from Dresden, a very unusual flat rainbow lightening up Sampson State Park on the other side of Seneca Lake. October will be here on Monday so we're starting to see more and more pumpkins and so did Joni Wilson this week. The pumpkins were ready for picking Monday outside of Skinny Atlas. Here's something a little zen from Mike Sargent. Buddha at Sonnenberg watching over the Japanese garden on Tuesday morning in Canandaigua. And in Geneva from Howard Lanehart. The parking lot at Friendly Ford resembled a scene from the Alfred Hitchcock thriller on Monday. And finally, from Aaron Winters, a kingfisher on the Genesee River in Rochester was in flight on Wednesday morning. Now remember, you can post your own recent local photos directly to our site by logging into your member account and clicking on Upload a Photo. And now let's take a look at what is happening around the region for this weekend. The American Legion Ladies Auxiliary in Canandaigua will host a rummage sale Friday from 9 to 6, Saturday from 9 until noon. Rummage sale will take place at the American Legion at 454 North Main Street in Canandaigua. You can enter the rear building. Proceeds will support local community funds. And it's also 2012's annual day for kids at the Geneva Community Center on Saturday. Family Fest will be from 1 until 3, followed by the talent show 3 to 4.30. Teen Fest will run from 6 until 9. The event is free and open to the public, and concessions will be available. Saturday from 2.30 until 4, it's October Fest Beer Cruise hosted by the Onboard Canandaigua Lake. $25 per ticket and it includes the cruise and complimentary beer, of course. Call 585-396-7350, extension 104 for reservations. The Canandaigua Lady is at Steamboat Landing at 205 Low, uh, Lakeshore Drive, Canandaigua. You can visit SteamboatLandingResort.com for more information. Support group for women who have been diagnosed with cancer meets the first Monday of each month beginning October 1st at Soldiers and Sailor Sailors Hospital in Penyan, the second floor conference room. Call 315-536-7934 for more information. In sports this week, there is a full slate of Section 5 and Section 3 high school football on tap Friday night and Saturday. For the schedule and results 
of games, check out the link to our local football scoreboard on our homepage. The Buffalo Bills take on the Patriots at 1 o'clock on Sunday. That'll be on CBS. New York Giants will play the Philadelphia Eagles Sunday at 8.20. The New York Jets play San Francisco on Sunday at 1. And you can pick the winners of Sunday's NFL games each week for a chance to win a large cheese pizza from Chichino's. Just look for the NFL Pick'em link in our features rotation on our homepage. And the Yankees are at the Blue Jays until Sunday, tonight and tomorrow at 7.07 on the Yes Network, Saturday on the Major League Baseball Network, and Sunday on Yes. Both games start at 107. Mets are at the Braves at 7.38.5 on Friday, 7.10 on Saturday on SNY, and on Sunday at 1.35 on WPIX. The Hobart Statesman football team take their undefeated record to WPI on Saturday in Massachusetts at 12. Cornell Big Red are at Bucknell, 6 o'clock on Saturday. The Syracuse Orange football team is on a bye week as they continue to prepare for Pittsburgh next Friday night. Follow the action all weekend long with our live scoreboard news, videos, and links at our sports page at FingerLakes1.com. Now here's a look at our live schedule coming up here on FingerLakes1.tv. Tonight at 7.15, it's the 31st Lap Podcast, recapping the week in local motorsports. Find out why the 31st Lap is the most popular show on FingerLakes1.tv network and watch live and join the live chat starting at 7.15 p.m. Saturday morning at 11, it's another edition of Tech Talk Live where you can call in or email your technology and computing questions. Join Flipper, JJ, and Snide for an hour to start your day on Saturday morning. And be sure to catch the latest edition of It's a Wonderful Dish where I join head chef Mike Gaudio inside the kitchen at the Hotel Clarence. This episode, Chef Mike prepares a pan-seared pork chop with apples and bourbon sauce. So good. It's a dish you can prepare, prepare with local apples. The new episode is now posted. Check our features rotation at our homepage or go directly to fingerlikes1.tv and click on the show page. And if you missed it, be sure to check out this week's Dog and Polly show where Jim Sinecropi and Harold Weber debate whether or not, or not Doug Marone is the right coach for the Syracuse football program and we meet the new head coach of the Newark Pilots, Mike Armstrong. Also, new this week, episode number 71 of the Sauce Pod with Kenny Haas talks Buffalo Bills football on Kenny's Two Pennies. For links to all of our live webcasts and on-demand episodes, go directly to fingerlakes1.tv or watch the features rotation on our homepage. Also, subscribe to all your favorite fingerlakes1.tv shows on Stitcher.com, YouTube, and iTunes. With your FingerLakes1.com update, I'm Tiffany Collins. With you guys, have a great fall day. We'll see you next time.